This three-part tutorial shows you how to integrate data in real time from a database on-premise to Azure SQL DB in the cloud. The first step is to create a stream cluster in Azure using our Stream for Real-Time Integration to SQL Database Marketplace offering. Next, you will need to install a stream agent on-premise, enabling you to capture data in real time from the local database. And finally, you will create and run a data flow that moves the data in real time from the on-premise database to Azure SQL DB. In this first step, you're going to set up a stream cluster in Azure Cloud Services. To do this, you'll need to locate the Stream for Real-Time Integration to SQL Database offering in the marketplace. Very importantly, you should read our installation instructions to familiarize yourself with all the steps. The setup is easy, you just need to configure basic settings, choose your stream cluster size and VM sizes, and enter information that allows you to connect to the stream VMs. Let's start by selecting the Stream for Real-Time Integration to SQL Database offering in the Azure Marketplace. This provides information about our offering and guides you to review our installation instructions. Please take time to click on this link as it gives you clear instructions you can copy and paste for installing the Azure SQL DB JDBC driver you'll need later. When you click on Create, you'll first enter the VM username and password needed to access your resources. Please note this down along with any other information you enter. You can also reuse or create a resource group to manage the VM instances that will be created. The stream instances can be a single standalone VM or a cluster. In this case, we're going to create a cluster of two VMs. We're going to use the F4S standard VM images for this tutorial. However, you should size the VMs based on your predicted usage. Now enter a name and password for the stream cluster Instances in the same cluster will find each other. Finally, give the cluster a domain name so it can be seen externally through DNS and enter a password for the stream admin user. You will use this later to log into the stream UI. After verifying the configuration is correct and accepting the terms and conditions, click on purchase to start up your instances. Remember you have 30 days to try our solution for free before you'll be charged. After the deployment is complete, your stream cluster is ready for you to move on to the next step.